Hey flower friends, welcome back to Flower Patch. And today I'm gonna to share with you something I'm trying this year as far as keeping some of the pest pressure lower. Last year I really struggled with um, spider mites. They were terrible on everything. And I'm still struggling with them on my boxwoods. They're not causing damage that's visible. I just find them on the boxwoods and I've seen them on some other things as well. So this year, Heirloom Roses had a subscription service for buying beneficials. So this is my FedEx box from Heirloom Roses. They are not sponsoring this, nor have they asked me to tell you about it. I just was wanting to share with you what I am doing to help with something I know that's an ongoing problem. Now, I don't spray even an organic like neem based spray because it can harm beneficials. It is safer than chemical solutions, but it still is a broad spectrum, meaning it kills a wide range of bugs, not just the ones that are damaging to your garden. So I'm always, always looking for alternatives. And if I can find them, like getting the beneficials, then that's the route I'm gonna take. Um, now, this program, oh, that's a little cooling things to keep the bugs from getting too hot in there. Um, this program is the first time I've tried this, and I've seen other um, sites that sell beneficial bugs for you to put in your garden to help with the pest pressure. Um, and so I thought I would give it a whirl. I had one shipment, I hung them out, and I'll have to say that so far this year, um, the, the spider mites are much less than they were last year. So it could be the benefits of these things. Look, there's different packages of things and they have these little hangers. And I'll take you around as we hang these in the plants. But um, the cheat sheet, they didn't send one this year. I'm mean, not this year, this shipment. The last one they had a whole thing on how to hang these and open them. So there's all these different beneficials. This one, it, it's just called Beneficial Insectary. And all of these say Beneficial Insectary on them. So, non Ambulisuus cucumorus. Don't know what that is, but I am hanging them around in the garden. Now the whole ticket, and I probably will say this again, is to hang them in spots. There's six on here. And these little things must be eggs. There are six little things here to hang in the plants. Now the ticket is to hang it um, in the middle of a plant in a shaded area, no direct sun, and you know try not to spray it down with a hose. So I'll put these in plants around my gardens and let them do their job. Now I should have saved, I don't think I saved my little cheat sheet of what each one is. Week 24. But Nonetheless, I do know how to hang these and I'm going to take them around and I'll take you around some of them. There's so many to put out, which they're very generous with the amount um, that I'll just show you a few of where I'm going to put them, especially where I see a problem with certain things. I should go in and look. I probably on their site, they have another um, sheet which tells me what each one does and what bugs they, they uh, address. Now I have a tons of ladybugs. I did not have a problem with um, aphids this year. I didn't, I saw a few, but the ladybugs were right there on top of it. And I have to say that's probably what helps that is I don't spray. As I said, when you spray something, even an organic spray, you're interfering with the beneficials coming in. So aphids were almost non-existent this year. Um, I've not sprayed in a few years, and I've just either sprayed them off with a power nozzle if they are getting too thick on a plant, and it knocks them to the ground, and the next day I may have to do it again, but I consistently do that when I'm out checking my garden, which I am walking the garden every day. And I did the same with the spider mites last year. So it helps if you don't spray, and it takes a few years, that the beneficials will move in. And then you have much less pe pest pressure. As well as, and I addressed this in a former video, don't over fertilize. 
when you over fertilize, you're putting out all that lush green growth that's unnatural that bugs are attracted to. And I did a whole video on one of the worst things that home gardeners do, and the number one home worst thing, and that's over fertilize. So be mindful. Less is more when it comes to uh, fertilizing. So, um, and you could be creating your problems just by over fertilizing. All right, let's go hang up some of these little insectary bug packets and we'll see where we're gonna place them. So this is the far side of my front garden. Forgive any background noise, my husband's working in the garage. Um, and so I want to spread these throughout the garden. So here's one of the packets. I don't remember what these are, but I want one on this far edge. And I'm gonna hang it here in my rhododendron. In the middle of the plant where it'll get a lot of shade, the sun comes this direction and these leaves will shade that. And that should be helpful there. I still have the old one down there that I put in. I don't know if I'm supposed to remove it. I'll have to look that up. So, so anyways, here's this other little one. I'm not sure what these are either, but I'm gonna hang it in the same bush. Wrote it, this. I'll put it on a different branch. Okay, there's so many that it's, I'm gonna take a while to hang these all out throughout the garden and see where I want to place them. So here we are, this is my Eden Rose on the arbor. And this spot here gets a lot of shade or even right down here. So I'm gonna pull up one of these. I think I'll pull up this one, which has little in beneficial insect eggs on it. And I guess they will come out and get flying. And it kind of just blends in. You really don't see it on all of that. This is, look at this clematis vine. That thing's massive. And a hummingbird. Wondering why I'm messing with his little perch. Alrighty. So that's another one there. I can also put another one here of one of one of these. And I can hang it down low here. Uh oh. I tore that one. Whoops. Don't, don't do bad like me. I don't know if you can see down there, but that one, this one tore. I don't think it's gonna matter. It's still closed up enough. Okay. So as I said, I got these from Heirloom Roses. They had, like I said, a um, program. I'm sure you can find them elsewhere. This is the name on the packaging is called Beneficial Insectary. So look that up, the back. Yeah. Now this time, last time I put these in the back, there's only one package of this, but this time I'm gonna put it in the front and I have a rose over here that's pretty thick and lush on an arbor, not arbor, on a um, obelisk. And so in the middle of that would probably work great because it would stay shady and cool, but it would spread here in the front. The last time I had it in the secret cottage garden. So it'd be good to put this in the front. So this is the rose, it gets pretty thick. I shaved this back on this side, it goes around to the front um, because there's, there's, a, there's a clematis right here that um, I wanted to get more light. So it's looked like it's struggling. Oh, I see new growth coming from it. It must be just transplant shock. So this one says uh, to lift the flap. So that's what I'm gonna do. Try to get my fingernail underneath that. Lift the flap and then I will hang it right in the middle here somewhere on the vine. And then it'll disperse those good beneficial insects. You should see about my clematis here. Yep, got new growth coming up. Good job. Now remember, as you're placing these, the sun does shift in the sky. So just do your best as far as hanging them in a spot that gets mostly shade, like right down here in this rose. And they really just kind of blend in. They're, they're not really super glaringly obvious as you move around the garden. Did I drop anything? Nope, there it is, the other stuff. Okay, 
So another one, This I'm heading down, this is the Rose Alley Garden, and as you can see, we're getting pretty sunshine right now. So I'm gonna go on a little further down and place another one of it, any of these. Now this one's kind of a tricky spot to get into because there's so many plants, but I'm gonna hang it down inside of there on the trellis. I don't know if I've done my video yet on this trellis. These are some trellises my husband and I put up. They match the wire. These are cattle panels um, on the deck rail. And we just I'm training my roses up them so that I can have them grow across the eave without them making that black, not powdery, black mildew on my white porch posts. So far, I am loving them. They were super easy to make, and um, they're going to last for a long, long time. Sorry, the sun is so glaring, but I had to do this when I could get to it. I've got so many other things I need to get to. I've been working on my irrigation back here, and I'm almost done. And once that's done, it's going to be um, something big off my list, but such a huge help and not moving sprinklers or having to do any of that stuff and just have to turn on. I, I can even put on a timer. I have it set up where I'm gonna set up zones and what have you. That is for a future project, just getting it set up where I can come out, turn it on for how many minutes and have you know the drip irrigation going to take care of things. I don't know if you can see right down there, if you can, that is a raised bed, metal raised bed, that I am going to turn into a cut flower garden. It's almost July, but it's been so cold I haven't been able to put in what I was planning. Zinnias, cosmos, sunflowers, etc. They will do great there. So that was my plan for that. So I hope you enjoyed this little trek around my gardens, placing all the beneficial insects so they can help combat any bad bugs that may be causing damage to my plants. And I try to, like I said before, I avoid any and all sprays, even organic, if I can. And if you want to check out a nifty little trick that I found for mildew, powdery mildew on plants, check out my milk spray video and I'll attach it to the description box below on how I'm using that and how it's working out. So I will See you in my next video. Bye.